My name is Daniel Garcia. My life used to be pretty normal. I worked at my family's bakery in Little Havana with my mom, my dad, my crazy brother, my little sister. I had a girlfriend. Life was good. Until she decided to propose. Will you marry me? And I decided to say no. That's when everything changed. <gasps> I met Noah Hamilton as an international superstar, fashion icon, one of the most famous women in the world. That Noah Hamilton. The last few weeks have been a whirlwind. She's a celebrity. She makes people fall in love with her for a living. My sister may have found true love. <gasps> He doesn't look like much, but he's the real deal. My ex became my brother's manager. I get 10% of every gig you book from now on. And don't you even try to negotiate with me. And Noah's manager laid down the law. No touching. No kissing. No anything that the press can interpret as romance. Maybe I should have listened to him. to talk about the daily breakfast you've been having these last few weeks? Yeah, more like daily sexes. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, yeah. Why do you keep running off to her? Does she not want to meet us, or are you just ashamed of your family? No, 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 it's, it's not that. It's just that it's really new, and we're just trying to keep it on a down low. And how long do you think that's gonna last? Hashtag Noah's Mystery Man? What? this video of you and Piñones. You could totally have a feature in this. In what? You could have a show about food or something. I have a job. It's called taking over the bakery after my dad retires. Yeah, but is that what you want? I never really thought about it, you know? It's just always been the plan. Well, all I know is the camera loves you. Speaking of... There goes a bubble. You can't even see my face. No, Daniel. The press smell blood. They're gonna start circling. Hey, it can't be that bad. Daniel, you have no idea. Fame is hard on a relationship. So this is a relationship now? I'm serious. All right, we'll do our best to stay in the bubble. And if it pops, we'll figure it out. Mm, mm. In the meantime, there's another group of sharks we have to deal with. My family. They keep asking to meet you. But, but don't worry, I put them off and I... I would love to meet them. Really? Yeah. Unless you don't want me to. so much. Have a great one. How's my number one client? 
Vanessa, how you doing? Um, you think you can keep your voice down? I still haven't had a chance to talk to Daniel about the whole you managing me thing. Why is it any of his business? Well, you know, it's a little weird, you know, working with my brother's ex-girlfriend. Oh. Well, I got you another gig tonight, but it's too weird. I'll just... Wait, 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 Vanessa, Vanessa. You didn't let me finish. Um, it's not weird. It's a, it's a good weird. Okay, good. Yeah. 7 p.m. Stein Kellner wedding addresses on the back. Have fun. Hi. Two months, please. Thank you. I know what you're thinking. You were thinking about asking me to the movies tonight. And I'm thinking I'll say yes. Oh, I like these psychic powers. You're also thinking that you're dying to finally kiss me. Oh my god. You're so cute. You don't have to be such a nervous Nelly. I like you, Nat. We'll save the real first kiss for later. Guys, can I talk to you for a second? What's up? So I spoke to Noah, and she'd love to meet you guys. I invited her over for dinner. <gasps> Noah <laughs> Hamilton is is coming here. Oh my God! Please don't make a big deal. Hey, what do you think of this name, you guys? Noah Hamilton Garcia. Oh, that's a nice ring to it. I like. We should get one of her cookbooks, and then you make a dish from it. Oh. She's coming here. I'm gonna cook what I'm gonna cook. Yeah, I think I was... a more important question is, do you want to DJ at this event? Absolutely. Guys, yeah. stop, oh, please, like, come on. Daniel's right, we can't afford to look stupid. We have to have a plan. So, when is she coming, puppy? Because if it's this week, that doesn't give us a lot of time. It's not this week. Oh, okay, well, thank God. Okay. It's tonight. She's coming to dinner tonight. What? What's next? The new sarongs, they're selling beyond projections. Same as the kimonos. Okay, Charlie, how about a footwear tie-in? A sandal that's dressy enough for dinner, but... Casual enough for the beach. Exactly. Let's have Rick and Gabriella send over the trend forecast and we can start conceptualizing the vision. We can call it beach formal. Great. Give us two weeks. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Beach formal. I like it. It's I good. told you I'm good. And you are a titan of industry. And it'll stay that way as long as somebody doesn't become a tabloid queen. Are you really going over there tonight? Uh, what's next, an elopement? Is there a pastelito in the oven? Stop. It's just dinner. I know. Why don't you call them and move dinner by a couple of days? That way you and I can have dinner. No, you're not getting out of your date. What date? Nice try. Come on. Trevor's a nice guy. Give him a chance. But you're not allowed to cancel. Blind dates are the worst. No, they're the second worst. The worst is dinner with the parents. Okay, okay. Just do me a favor, honey. Promise me that you will at least be smart. Yes, I will. Okay. Now, can you please just be happy for me? I'm going to a real home. I'm about to have dinner with a normal family. Rule number 10, no photos unless it's her idea. And rule number 11, no asking for favors or endorsements. Oh, what about a mention on Twitter? No. No, just words, no pics. No. Little MC Cubano rocks my world. Dude, that is the exact definition of a favor. Bro, this could make my career. All right, your girl's a tastemaker and I'm a flavor, right? Ew. Rule number 12, no staring at her. Just no staring in general. What? These rules are sounding oddly personal. Rule number 13. Okay, that's enough. Everybody out. Rule number 19, don't speak Go. Spanish. Neil, my goodness gracious. <laughs> because I'm the pollo. You haven't made this since Fidel came to the Tropicana. That would explain why I'm feeling that same sense of dread. I, I know you hate celebrities, but Daniel likes her, and I want to make a good impression. I know you do, hence El Fricasse. Mm -hmm. I may not like her for Daniel, but she is our guest, and she will be treated to the best. Come on. Come on. The gray one. Thanks. 
I, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Probably because you're bringing Noah Hamilton to Casa Garcia tonight. Which brings me to why I'm here. I am dying to meet her, obviously. But I promised Amy I would take her to the movies tonight. You're joking. I would totally cancel, but it's our first real date since I ran her out of here, and it took a really long time for us to get back to this point. Just invite her to dinner. Look, uh, are you sure? Nah, I need you there. You can't leave me alone with everybody. God knows what they'll do. Oh, thank you. Okay. I don't know, it's some sort of tightness, you know, some sort of dry tightness. You know, maybe it's more like a, a wet rasp. Mateo, I saw you two hours ago when you were fine. My boy Shoopy's gonna pretend he's me, so, you know. It's all good. You know, I'm going to give him my spare track suit and he's going to play and spin pre-recorded tracks. So pre-recorded? Is that what you do? Yo, I spin live or die. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. I don't even want to know. Mateo! Let's do this. She's younger in person. Amy. Yeah, hi. Hey, come in. <laughs> hi. Sorry, we thought you were her. Oh, uh, I'd be bummed too. I thought. <laughs> Hello, anybody home? Hi, I'm Noah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, um, I brought these for you, Mari. Oh, thank you. And, uh, Raphael, I got you a bottle of 21-year-old Monroe's rum. He said it was your favorite. Uh -huh. Um, very generous. <laughs> so this is my sister, Natalie. Hi. Oh, hi. We go way back. <laughs> yeah, like, like a whole three weeks. <laughs> yeah. Just like Daniel. <laughs> This is Natalie's friend, Amy. I've been obsessed with you since you were that three-piece Armani to the Met Gala in 2017. <laughs> That's very sweet. Thank you. Last but not least, that's my brother, Mateo. <laughs> uh, such a pleasure, Miss Hamilton, making your acquaintance on this fine evening. Um, Daniel says a lot of nice things about you. Likewise. I really like your song. We played it at my party. I think you have a bright future ahead of you. Uh, this is very kind of you to say. Drinks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay. Trevor, right? Oh, you must be Lewis. Let me save us both a little bit of time. I'm sure you're a wonderful guy, but this is never going to work. Oh, really? Are you psychic? I can tell you how this is going to play out. We'll have fun. We'll hit it off. Maybe have a roll in the sheets. And even like each other. At best, we start to date. Inevitably, I will blow you off from my work and you'll say that you don't resent it, but you actually do, which I will sense and passive-aggressively respond by turning colder. Until what started out as something well-meaning leaves us both feeling a little sad and like we both wasted our time. So, nice meeting you. <laughs> uh, Noah warned me and say all that. All right, let me offer a rewrite to your story. The reason that we'll hit it off is that I'll surprise you. I'll know that you run 30 minutes late, so I'll make sure that our drinks arrive when you do. 
and then I'll draw you into a great conversation because even though I'm a dentist, I majored in art history. And I minored in difficult men who think they're emotionally unavailable, but really they're just tired of being disappointed by boyfriends who can't see when they start to build those invisible walls around their heart. Well, I can't leave now, can I? It looks like my first communion, but it was actually my first exorcism. Hi, Chachi. Oh, mira, this one is my favorite. It was impossible to keep this boy in a diaper. He used to love to run around naked with his culito hanging out right down the street. Okay. Who is shaking, uh, booty? Right, all right, all right. Mari, por favor, chica. Ay, por favor. Rafael, I was hoping to get a tour of the bakery. I want to see where the best pastries in Miami are made. You yes, have to finish the, the vegetables. Said, right? Sure. So how early do you have to start? I'm down here by 5 a.m. Daniel's been coming down earlier. Lately. So, where did you learn to bake? My, uh, my grandmother baked at home. Both of my parents were always working, so she looked after me. She would make me help her to keep me out of trouble. So I've tried to do the same thing for my boys. Teach them so they can take over the business one day. Assuming Daniel stays on track. Mr. Garcia, I can only imagine how this all must feel. I know that my life can get pretty crazy. And I've been a bit of a tornado coming into your home. <laughs> you seem to be a good person. But your world is... Uh, it's intoxicating. It's easy to get swept away. Believing that you belong in it. Until one day you wake up and you realize that you don't. I don't want Daniel to lose sight of who he is and where he's going in exchange for a few weeks or months of living someone else's life. I care about your son and I share your concerns. Daniel is a good man from a good family. That's why I like him. I appreciate that. We should go back upstairs. Dinner should be ready. And Mighty will kill me if I don't serve you the best meal you've ever had. Yeah. Mmm. Smells delicious. Ooh. Thank you. That's because my husband is an incredible chef. <laughs> Did you ever think of opening a restaurant? Ah, oh, funny you should ask that because the place next door is going out of business and I've been saying it would be a great cafe. That was our plan, you know, before we left Cuba. Expansion is a young man's dream. Maybe when Daniel takes over. Right, son? So, oh, it smells tight in here. I hope you don't mind the quick change. I uh, had a little stain on my shirt. You want me to sing Grace? No. no. Let's do this. Springs, born and raised. What? It's not obvious. Last time you were back. Dad's funeral eight years ago. It's the first time since I was 20. How was that? Well, it's like they say. Growing up, it all seems so big. Going back, it all seems so small. 
My family thinks I'm an alien. Ex model turned manager, strike one and two. And there's the tiny fact that I left my wife. What? Did you ever, like, really think you were straight? I hoped. I, I know that's a terrible thing to say now, but when you're 18 and living at home, I want to see wedding pics. Oh, <laughs> you just want to get a look at my ex-wife. <laughs> Don't kid yourself, she was hot. She just had no sense of style. Uh, of the zippers. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to come tonight. Mm. You hid that so well. <laughs> but I'm actually happy that Noah's off with Baker Boy and Little Havana. Because this is nice. How did you meet Raphael? Yeah, Ma, tell her. It's such a good story. They were 19, yeah. just kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we were both working at the Tropicana in Havana. He was a pastry chef, and I had just started out as a dancer. It's hard to stand out among a bunch of showgirls, but Mari was like a ray of sunshine. Aww. Yeah, you should check out the pictures that she's in. In that whole outfit with the headdress and a little bikini. Okay. It was like a big mom. Mama was banging. Yeah. Oh, Mateo, please don't call our mother banging. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so one night the featured girl got sick. And I was the only one who knew the song. And I knew this was going to be my shot. But... I was so nervous, and I couldn't breathe. <laughs> so I was trying to find an excuse to talk to her. So when I found out what was happening, I brought her a buchito de romi. <laughs> yes. And I said, don't be scared of having your dreams come true. Because... Because it makes room for bigger and better ones. That's right. Anyway, finally, they made me the featured girl. Salud, salud. Drinks to that. Yes. Salud, salud. Yeah. And so what about you two lovebirds? How did you guys meet? Oh, they're not a couple. They're just friends. Yes. <laughs> Right, mommy? Natalie. Natalie, please answer your mother. We're just friends. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna... What the hell is going on here? Vanessa. Vanessa. Family dinner? You invited her to family dinner? V, what are you doing here? I brought soup for Mateo for his sore throat. What is she doing here? It took me six months to be invited to one of these. It was three months, Mari, until you even smiled at me and... In four years, you never once made me fricasse de pollo, Rafi. I just don't understand why you all would treat her better than me. Vanessa, stop. Look. No, no, don't touch me. Let's go talk. Okay? Find yourself a new manager. What is it with this girl and soup? <laughs> Daniel, I have been patient. I have been understanding. You were having a moment, and I've been giving you the space to move through it. I didn't ask for space. You don't have to. That's just what you do. 
That's what people who love each other, people who have been together for four years do. They don't just bail when they hit a road bump. They don't just erase the other person and act like they don't exist. What just happened? Did I just come out? Did I just tell my very, very Catholic parents that I'm... I don't think so. With what Noah said and the way that you left, my guess is your parents are probably just as confused as you are right now. Mateo, go change your clothes. Yep. I don't know what you want me to say. I want to finish the conversation we started the night after I proposed. We have put so much into building something real, something that matters. Are you really going to throw it all away on a fantasy? I'm not going to pressure you, Nat. It's really hard coming out to anyone, let alone your parents. So you're not mad that I ran? No. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever you want. I want. I want this. This is my fault, and I shouldn't have jumped to a silly conclusion. Sorry, but I prefer that you mind your own business. This is a family matter. My apologies, but I think dinner's over. this way for a while but didn't realize it until you proposed it's not about Noah or some fantasy you and I are not gonna be happily ever after okay Yes, I do. No, you don't. You're too young to know anything about being gay, Natalie. Too young? Yes. I'm almost 16. Exactly. You're not even old enough to drive yet, let alone make these kinds down, of decisions honey. about your life, decisions? Anna. Yes. You know what? You're the one who has no idea what you're talking about. This isn't like choosing some dress for that stupid quinceanera you keep wanting to throw me. Don't you change the subject on me. you know what? Maybe it is just like that. I don't have a choice in throwing that party just like I don't have a choice in who I am. This is who I am. So you, you'll just have to deal with it. Natalie Garcia, do not take that tone of voice with your mother. Come on, Amy. I'm done here. Buddy. <laughs> Mari. Mari. You know what I 
don't understand is why you feel trapped. I was always proud to be seen with Daniel and his family. If I were you, I'd go out there right now and tell anyone who listened how happy I was to be sitting in that chair tonight. It's not like that. It's not? Oh, so you're saying you'd be fine if I went out there right now and told everyone you were here. Yo, Vanessa, wait. Wait. I gotta tell Louis. Yeah. Good idea. Really? Yeah. Noah Hamilton, home wrecker. Sounds like a great headline to me. Listen, you're not thinking this through. All right, what good can come out of it? It's not going to change anything. Mateo? Yeah. Come on. Vanessa, you are better than this. You know I'm right. You know that there's someone out there waiting for you. Waiting to see what an incredible woman you are. A man who loves your strength, your intelligence. Your beauty. Someone who will treat you like the amazing person you are. Mateo? Yeah. Move before I rip your face off. Yeah. She's coming out. Oh my god. Who are you? What's your name? Blanketed. It's like a dozen in the front and at least two going in the back. Sorry, Lewis. You warned me. Don't worry. I will get you out of this. Okay. I just have no idea how. I don't understand. Why, why, why wouldn't she tell us? She's 15, Marty. There's a hundred reasons why. It's not anything to take personally. Oh, well, maybe you don't take personally that your only daughter would keep a secret like this from you, but I do. I, Marty, I, I should have seen this. I... She's my baby girl. When did I stop knowing who my daughter was? I think she's coming out. That's twice in one night. Maybe you should go down there. Let them see you. Would it really be that bad? It's not me I'm worried about. It's you and your family. If I go out there now, then everyone goes under the microscope. And it is so much worse than if you and I come out as a couple in some other way. Why? Because if they take my picture in front of here, then suddenly this dinner becomes part of the story. And they're going to want to know who was here. Mateo, Natalie, Vanessa. You don't know how invasive these tabloids can be. If anyone decides to be in the spotlight, that should be their choice. I shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I just really wanted to meet your family. Come with me. There's a third way out of here. Noah, I'm still working on it, okay? I, what? A tunnel? Back in Prohibition days, this bakery was also used as a warehouse to store liquor that came in from Jamaica. Pop, why didn't you ever tell us about this? Why didn't I ever tell my children how to sneak out of their own home? Por favor. Careful, huh?
Really appreciate it, Mr. Garcia. Noah's got friends over, and these are the best pastries in Miami. Send her my regards. I'm happy that she's a customer. I will. Good night, guys. Ladies. There's the door. Coming in. What a night, huh? Dad, we don't have to talk about Just this. Just listen now. for a moment. I don't know for sure, but you've probably been living with the secret for some time. Yes. We've known for 12 hours, give or take. I wanted to tell you guys. I I just didn't know how. Well, that problem solved. <laughs> Everything your mother and I do in this life is for you and your brothers. There is nothing that you can do or be that will make us love you any less. Give your mom some time, okay? She's an amazing woman. But 12 hours versus 15 years of her imagining your life. Just give her a little more time. Okay? I love you. I love you too. You've reached Trevor. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hey, it's Lewis. I just wanted to thank you again for last night and sorry about all the drama. <laughs> anyway, um, despite being a really good date, I just think it's better if we don't see each other. I know you're going to come up with some very clever comeback, but do me a favor and don't use it. <sighs> uh, I know what I'm talking about. Goodbye. Okay, Lewis. I compared today's ultrasound with the one from six months ago, and I'm afraid the time of wait and see is over. So let's talk about your options. I don't want to leave. That guy got us both on camera. You know, we have to face the music. No, not yet. We can't live in here forever. <laughs> Well, not forever, but if I had Lewis bring us food and water, we could last at least a month. Yeah, I'm sure he would love to be my personal butler. Oh, my God, you would love that. Daniel, you know your dad has a point. I have dated normal guys before, twice, and both times were not great. The first guy, he changed when we went public, and the second guy just couldn't handle it. Third time's a charm, right? Every relationship is all or nothing. It always ends up one of two ways, either happily ever after or up in flames. I mean, Vanessa's not all that happy with me right now. But Daniel, no relationship you have ever been in can prepare you for what this life is like. I just want to make sure you know what you're signing up for. Well, we can't undo last night. So it's either we take this leap of faith or we break up. I know that sounds crazy, but yes. I think I could do a little crazy. Okay. If you think you can handle it. Let's see what it's like outside the bubble. Ready? Yeah. 
One, two, three. Whoa, there's like a hundred messages on here. That's because you're famous now. The Baker and the Beauty. It's got a nice ring to it.